Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Lamata. Today is still the 7th of August and I'm here as always to give you a daily dose of the latest gaming news. Today I have some news for you today from Paradox as they have announced War of the Vikings, which as you might expect is their follow-up to War of the Roses and will be due out on PC in early 2014. And it's going to be developed by Fat Shark, who of course the Swedish studio behind War of the Roses and will use the technology that fuels the medieval squad combat based game. So basically it sounds like it's going to be using the same engine and most likely the same combat combat engine as well with some minor changes of course given the differences in weapons, fighting styles and so forth. And as you might expect in War of the Vikings you can create a warrior and sack England as a Norseman or defend it as a Saxon and of course there will be a focus on close quarters combat, authentic settings and weaponry customization. And apparently they have also confirmed a 64 player battle. So that's pretty damn insane. And you can also sign up for the alpha over at the official website. And I'll put a link to that down in the description. War of the Roses isn't really something that I've ever delved into. But War of the Vikings now, that sounds interesting. Definitely. And I think most people would want to play as Viking. Or at least I would want to. But maybe, maybe that's just me. Um... Looking forward to seeing more updates on this particular game. It sounds like they've got quite an epic one uh, planned and I like the sound of the fact that it's going to be focusing on close quarters combat. Definitely sounds like Vikings versus Saxons to me. And from the sounds of it, like I said earlier, they are going to be using the same graphics engine and so forth. But I would imagine that the combat is going to feel very different to War of the Roses, as you might expect. So go sign up for the alpha, guys. I know I'll be going to do just that. Hopefully I'll get in so I can show you some a little bit of the gameplay as it currently stands. That would be awesome. And yeah, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.